Hello everyone, my name is Hashim Mohammed, and this paper presents a nonlinear deterministic observer for inertial navigation using sensor fusion of ultra-wideband and inertial measurement units. In today's outline, we will go through abbreviation and preliminaries. Next, we will move into motivation. Next, we will go through problem formulation, discussing ultra-wideband, inertial measurement unit, and the navigation problem. Then, we will discuss the deterministic navigation observer. We will move next to numerical results, and we will conclude our presentation with a summary. In this presentation, I denotes inertial frame, P denotes body frame, R is a set of real numbers, R n by m is a set of real numbers with dimension n by m, SO3 is a special orthogonal group of order 3, and SE23, this is the extended form of the special equilibrium group. So as we discussed earlier, that SO3 is a special orthogonal group of order 3, and for a matrix R, it belongs to SO3 if its determinant is equal to positive 1 and its multiplication by its transpose is equal to identity matrix. This is a definition of a skew symmetric matrix and X belongs to SE23. This refers to the vehicle navigation matrix and the vehicle navigation matrix includes orientation R, position P and linear velocity V. UM follows this map. So navigation in GPS denied region is very important for ground vehicles, for unmanned aerial vehicles, and autonomous underwater vehicles. Majority of the existing navigation solutions require GPS signal. GPS is unavailable in indoor missions. Also, the other problem is that obstruction and the multibus can lead to inaccurate measurements or signal denial. Over the last years, several GPS denied navigations have been proposed, such that we have estimators that is based on the fusion of stereo camera or monocular camera plus IMU. We have estimators that is based on LIDAR. We have estimators that is based on fusion of UWP and IMU. The majority of the solutions that relies on the fusion of UWP and IMU are Kalman type filters. So Kalman type filters are subject to consistency issue. Also, they fail to capture the model nonlinearity. This is why the contribution of this work are as follows. So the work aims to frame the navigation kinematics on the Lee group of the extended special equilibrium group SE23. In this work, we consider a vehicle equipped with nine axis IMU and one UWB tag navigation within the range of a fixed UWB anchors, and we need to have at least four anchors. So we propose a nonlinear deterministic navigation observer on the Lee group of SE23, which relies on the measurements of ultra wide band plus the inertial measurement unit. And the proposed observer successfully solves for the unknown bias, which is present in the IMU measurements. The UWB sensors have a short wavelength, and this increases the positioning accuracy and the robustness against interference, which is a common problem in GPS communication. Also, the UWB sensors are capable for line of sight or LOS and non-line of sight communication and it has the ability for obstacle penetration. UWB technology is low in power consumption, compact, lightweight and this ensures simplicity in implementation. UWB positioning can be achieved through various techniques such as time of arrival, angle of arrival, time difference of arrival, and receive the signal strengths. But in this work, we focus on time difference of arrival because it's more practical. So UWB plus IMU can help us to estimate the rigid body's orientation, position, and linear velocity. Where R hat is the estimate of the vehicle orientation, B hat is the estimate of vehicle position, and V hat is the estimate of vehicle linear velocity. So now let's start with step one. 
With step one, we'll start with IMU measurements, gyroscope, accelerometer, and the magnetometer. Next, we go to normalization, similar to this equation. So given N TDOA measurements, the following expression can be obtained. Using this expression, we can con construct A matrix and B matrix. And thereafter, we can obtain a reconstructed position of the UAV. However, we need to keep in mind that the reconstructed position, PY, is noisy. And normally, it's a bit far from the true position of the vehicle. So this figure illustrates the navigation problem. So we have a UAV that is equipped with UWB tag as well as IMU and flies between UWB anchors. So the objective is to forward IMU and the time difference of arrival measurements into an observer. Next, the observer will provide UAV orientation position linear velocity estimates such that the main objective is R hat goes to the true R true orientation of the vehicle the estimate B hat goes to the true position B and the estimate V hat goes to the true linear velocity V this equation describes the true navigation kinematics So now let us move to the proposed deterministic navigation observer. Let us define the error in orientation as R tilt equal R R hat transpose and the error in position B tilt it is equal to B minus B hat and the error in estimation in linear velocity it is equal V minus V hat. Let us now define the following set of IMU measurements and normalization. And let us introduce the following correction mechanism. Let us now introduce the following navigation observer. To prove the observer convergence, consider the following navigation kinematics. And let us assume the availability of three non-collinear measurements of the IMU as well as the observations and at each time instant the tag or the UAV it's equipped with a tag it is always within a range of at least four anchors this way all closed loop signals are exponentially stable from almost any initial condition for complete proof please refer to our paper this slide illustrates a discrete implementation of the proposed navigation observer. So now let us move to numerical results. We consider a data set of a drone equipped with UWB tag and inertial measurement unit, and the drone is traveling between eight anchors. Let us consider the following initial true position and linear velocity. And let us consider the following position and linear velocity estimates. Consider the following design parameters. So this figure illustrates the estimated position in blue color following the true trajectory in red color. So the yellow color refers to a reconstructed position. We can see good estimation performance for the position starting from large error initialization to the true trajectory. This figure shows the error convergence in orientation, position, and linear velocity. So we can see the error in orientation, position, and linear velocity converged very close to zero. In summary, the inertial navigation problem has been addressed using UWB IMU fusion to supply measurements to a nonlinear deterministic observer on the Lee group of SE23. The observer successfully estimates the vehicle orientation, position, and linear velocity 
ensuring exponential convergence from almost any initial condition. The proposed observer revealed a robust and strong estimation performance when tested using a dataset of measurements collected during a dataset of drone flight and benchmarked against the ground troops. So here is a set of references that we used during the presentation. And thank you for listening and have a great day.